Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. So, earlier today, um, it has been revealed that uh, there were a bunch of original plans for Michael Keaton's Batman um, after The Flash. Basically, of course, one of them, which, which I covered in my video, one of my videos I made a couple days ago, of um, one of the endings of The Flash that um, got scrapped, that was shot and everything, um, which showed Keaton's Batman and Sasha Kai's Supergirl um, basically transitioning into the DCEU after Barry thought he fixed everything. And so, yeah, because of uh, because of what we got in the movie, um, because that idea got scrapped and we got something else in the movie, um, this obviously isn't going to happen now. Um, but, um, but yeah, um, I am interested, though, in seeing what these original plans were for Michael Keaton's Batman. So without wasting any more time, let's get in this article and see what exactly it says here. So it says here on the direct.com that fans were shocked to learn that Michael Keaton was being set up as the future mainstay Batman of the DCEU in 2020, which was probably not a good idea anyway, because uh, the dude's old and uh, he probably wouldn't have um, been around that long, to be honest. Um, but this plan had slowly fallen apart over the years that it did before director James Gunn and film producer Peter Safran were made CEOs of DC studios. The initial plans for the DCEU were to adapt the iconic comic book cr event crisis on infinite earths. That would have been, and I'm, I'm going to admit that would have been interesting to see what they would have done. Um, especially like in a live action movie. Like, that would have been pretty crazy, seeing what we could have seen, what could have happened um, if the original DCEU that we that we got before the Flash movie came out um, was going to be fixed and we were going to revert back to that. Like, I don't know what would have happened, but that would have been interesting. Uh, but at the same time, though, who knows what would have happened? Uh, we don't know what would have happened. We don't know if it would have been good, if it would have been bad. It would, it, would, it would have been interesting to see, but hey, man, we're not we're never going to know exactly what was going to happen. Um, of course, due to the upcoming reboot, starting with Superman Legacy, that has been scrapped, obviously, with plans to recast Bruce Wayne with a younger actor for Gunn's new DCU, which makes sense because this, like, obviously Gunn wouldn't want someone like Michael Keaton playing as um, the DCU Batman and Bruce Wayne because even though it, it would be cool to see that, it wouldn't really make that much sense with Batman or Bruce Wayne being old, much older than this, than, than Superman. That wouldn't make sense at all. So I can understand that. And plus, I don't think Keaton would, uh, would have really lasted long in the DCU, especially with like this part of the 10 year plan. Like he would have died before the 10 year plan was even like success before the 10 year plan ended. Like, so yeah. All right, so, um, you know, I, I heard this term going around a little bit today. I'm like only a t t two times today. Uh, Michael Keaton's Batman would have been the Nick Fury of the DCEU. Um, all right, so let, let's see what it says here. So, in June of 2020, The Hollywood Reporter revealed to the shock of fans that Michael Keaton was in talks to return as Batman in The Flash, which obviously it's, it happened. More importantly, according to the outlet, if the deal went through, Keaton wouldn't just return for Flash, but also reprise his role for several other DC-oriented film projects. Which, I will say, um, him coming back um, to do a bunch of like other projects sounded cool, but I mean, it's understandable why the, him coming back for just doing a one-off and all these projects him coming in would kind of be kind of scrapped. It would have been cool to see him, but it makes sense why. He would just come back for one project, which was The Flash, um, because I don't know, uh, because this word, several other DC projects, several, specifically several, I don't think he would be a, be down to do a lot of projects, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of projects, like a couple, okay, but a bunch of projects, yeah, no, no, like, okay, I could see him coming back, like, as Bruce Wayne for, like, Batman Beyond, like that was something I I think I remember hearing about quite a bit, and that reportedly got yeah, that got canceled, and um, yeah, so I mean it's like something like that. I would have loved to see him return as Bruce Wayne for that, but 
because we're not going to get that, yeah, that sucks. And uh, we're not going to get any more Keaton as Bruce Wayne or Batman um, kind of sucks. And the fact they promised us this and um, we're not going to get it, especially the people that are excited to see Keaton come back more often, see Keaton a little more. Um, that that kind of sucks for them too. Cause, and I, I will admit, I would have loved to see Keaton a little more as Bruce Wayne and as Batman, but we're obviously not going to get that now, especially not just because of the DCU, but also because of the fact that Keaton, if he did return as both Bruce Wayne and Batman, I don't think uh, that would really work out that well. Like, okay, if he if he came back for just one more movie, like like I said, Batman Beyond, I think that would be perfect. Um, but that could be a little Elseworld thing or whatever, but I don't think Gunn and Safran would want to do an Elseworld thing. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I, I, th I think them doing with what they did in Keaton and the Flash was kind of a good move anyway. Um, because, I mean, again, I... I don't think like him staying for a long time for several DC projects, especially like just several DC projects in general, um, would have really benefit him well because I because like the dude's really old now and like he, any and like he's like really up there in age right now. So I mean, it's like not saying he's gonna kick the can anytime soon, but yeah, he was incredible in the Flash as Bruce Wayne and as Batman. Don't get me wrong, but yeah man uh, i don't think he would have lasted that long though in the dceu if all of this really did come to fruition all right now moving on now um sources even told thr that keaton was being envi envisioned in a nick fury like role who would be something of a mentor or guide or even string puller to other characters the outlet had even correctly predicted that batgirl would have been one of those film projects which obviously we're not going to get that now. He filmed his scenes for Batgirl, um, but we're not going to be able to get. We're not going to get that now because Batgirl like got completely canned. Uh, so we're not going to get that now. Uh, so yeah, so he like that doesn't really um, mess with Michael Keaton or anything because I mean, hey, he got his paycheck, he has money and everything. So he dipped. He did. He did everything he did in Batgirl. Got his money and he left. So same with the Flash. He did his thing in the Flash movie got his paycheck dipped out uh so yeah i mean uh yeah i mean yeah other, other than that though i mean yeah i i definitely do see like he not really coming back or anything like i could see him kind of like making one little cameo like kind of like with what with how he was in the flash like just one more time if if he's still alive that is i mean god forbid um but yeah, well, I'm like some like a mini crossover crossover event that's been kind of rumored or talked about that should happen in Guns DCU, um, which I would be down for that. But uh, but yeah, man, I mean, only time will tell what happens. Um, if he does return, it's going to be uh, probably one final time, and it's probably going to be in a crossover event. So yeah, moving on now. Uh, Warner Bros. Discovery shocked the entire industry when it outright canceled the release of Batgirl in August of 2022 for a tax write-off. The film had reported uh, had a reported budget of seventy million and starred Leslie Grace as Barbara Gordon, Michael Keaton as Bruce Wayne, J.K. Simmons as Commissioner Gordon, and Oscar-winning actor Brendan Fraser as Garfield Lins, aka Firefly. Which it would have been interesting to see how how good he would have played as Firefly, by the way. Um, so definitely do release Batgirl, please. I, I do want I would I'm interested on in seeing what would have happened in this film. Uh, Keaton's role in the film would have been an age-appropriate Batman that was retired, with him essentially being a pivotal pivotal cameo throughout the film when he pops in and out. No doubt acting as a mentor to Grace's Batgirl. Very good. I remember hearing about that, yeah. However, according uh, to Safran, one other reason given for the film's cancellation was that it wasn't releasable and would have hurt DC and those people involved. Which, you know, I've been hearing a little bit about that, that it would have hurt the people involved in Batgirl, the director, um, the, uh, everyone else working on the film would have been would have been hurt so badly. Um, but, I mean, just to completely, like, just completely just scrap it and just like all the hard work that they did just to shit like go down the drain not even like give it a chance to show in theaters or anything just sucks uh so i it would have been cool to see but yeah man i mean hey it is what it is hopefully we are able to eventually get batgirl one day um of course after three back-to-back -back box office flops it's hard to believe that batgirl would have hurt dc's reputation any more than black adam shazam fury of the gods and the flash already have Yep. Oh, yeah. And I've been hearing, man, that The Flash really has not been doing well that well. In fact, it's one of the worst 
box office drops like in history, like worse than Black Adam, which that right there, that that's that's embarrassing. Just so bad for DC. Ugh. And there was apparently a cameo on the Aquaman sequel that apparently got cut. Um, Keaton had already filmed a cameo for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom as he would have been the new Batman moving forward after the Flash, which would have made no freaking sense because he's old and yeah, it would have just been so bad. Ugh. Um, however, Warner Brothers had restructured its release schedule in March of 2022 and his cameo would have caused a continu- continuity error between the Flash and Aquaman 2. Which, yeah, makes sense, so just just cut that. It would have been cool to see him, but yeah, it wouldn't have made much sense anyway. Um, the Flash had been moved from November 4th to June 23rd, 2023, and Aquaman, and Aquaman sequel from December 16th to March 17th, 2023. Keen's cameo was, well, now. Uh, uh, now now freaking um, Aquaman and Lost Kingdom is coming out in December of this year. So, yeah, Keaton's cameo was replaced with Ben Affleck reprising his role as Batman. It could have also been an excuse for Warner Brothers to be, to belay uh, to delay replacing Affleck in the role which didn't end up mattering anyway since Affleck's cameo has also been scrapped which my god uh there's been a lot of reshoots with Aquaman and Lost Kingdom and uh pretty crazy pretty bad as well my god all right now here's what I was talking about burying Batman Beyond Keaton was originally gonna show up in Batman Beyond but that that got canceled which I don't know why they did that because he's seeing him as a as Bruce Wayne so even if it was just like one Batman Beyond film and we get nothing else after that, I would have been perfectly okay with that. Um, seeing him being a mentor to um, a young uh, up-and-comer that he's training to become the next Batman uh, to protect Gotham City would have been really cool to see. Um, so, yeah, let's let's see what it says here. Um, Sometime before uh, December 2022, Warner Brothers had scrapped a live-action adaptation of Batman Beyond, which would have starred Michael Keaton as a past uh, as they passed his prime Bruce Wayne handing down the mantle of Batman to someone else, like I was just saying, the film would have been written by Christina Hodson, previously credited for writing DC's Birds of Prey and The Flash. Uh, weirdly enough, in March of 2023, it was reported that an animated movie based on the 90s cartoon was also being developed at Warner Brothers to rival Sony's Spider-Verse. No matter its nebulous state, scrapped or not, it's unlikely it would involve Keaton. What, okay, wouldn't have involved Keaton. That, okay, that's weird. Um, I don't know why it wouldn't have involved Keaton. I mean, he's old right now, so I mean, it would have it, it would make sense for him to be involved in that and for to, and for him to be a mentor since he's a past his prime Batman. So, like, why wouldn't he be involved in? That? Okay, I don't know that. Um, all right, so this is talking about the original ending. I already covered this in uh, my video a couple days ago, and I already explained what it was in the beginning of the video. Um, do 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 do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yep, yep, yep. I'm reading this right. I'm already kind of reading this. Yep, I already thought I already kind of covered this earlier in the video and in my last video, one of my videos I made a couple days ago. So, yeah, um, these were all the plans that Michael Keaton's Batman was originally going to have. Now, it sucks. Yes, it does suck that he didn't really get a chance, that we didn't get a chance to see him a little more. Um, Definitely, like, not several times because I don't think he would have really... Nate, he, I don't think he, that would have really worked with him to work to be a part of several projects. Like, only a couple projects, I think, would, would have worked. But, yeah, it, it makes sense, though, man, why um, why a lot of this kind of got canned, especially with what's going on right now with Gunn and Saffron doing their own thing, because they really want to move on from the DCEU and just move on with the DCU. And fans are already tired with, uh, with what's going on with the DCEU, and they're just, they're just expecting the DCU to, that way they can just forget about what, what's been going on with the DCEU and just get a fresh start, refresh in them and just get them excited for what Gun and Saffron got planned out. So yeah, man, even though it sucks that we're not going to get more of Keaton. Um, Hey, at least we got him in the flash. Um, he did some really cool stuff, even though that wasn't him doing a lot of the fight scenes and stuff. That was a stunt double. Um, he still hasn't lost a beat though, especially with the scenes with him just as Bruce Wayne. And uh, him in the suit and him playing as Batman, uh, he hasn't really lost a beat, man. So, yeah, man. Uh, could he come back one more time? I could see him coming back one more time. But because Batman Beyond is now scrapped, I don't think he's going to come back. Like, I think this was the final hurrah for him. Um, so, yeah, man, especially with how the flash ended. Um, so, yeah, man. Um, without wasting any more time, though, I'm just going to end the video right here. 
Um, post comments down below, though. Let me know what you guys think about this, though. Would you have liked to see more Michael Keaton's Batman after The Flash, or do you think that uh, The Flash kind of gave him a proper fare farewell? Do let me know. I am curious what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Also, if you guys did enjoy this video, uh, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe. And if you guys know anyone that's a fan of DC or a fan of The Flash or Michael Keaton or Batman specifically, then you should send this video over to them because they might have a good time watching this. And also come follow me over on Twitter and Vero. I will be putting the links to those in the description down below. So yeah, um, until then though, everybody, I will see you all later and goodbye.